Welcome to another edition of What the Fuck Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community. It's probably going to be a two-parter because there was some happenings. Um, really long videos to respond to, a lot of stuff. Uh, the Amazing Atheist. So might as well, it's going to probably take a whole video just to get through this crap. Um, so first he did the 51-minute answer question video, which I honestly didn't listen to all of. I just jumped through it. And one segment I jumped through, he's ragging on the assholes, us assholes, who are worried about uh, population growth. And he's, basically his argument is, is, look, I got a saltine here, and there's room for somebody to build their little house on there, and they could live on there. There's lots of open space still left to put human beings on. It's no problem. So he just totally ignores food and energy that people have to live on, and how the hell you extract more of that from the planet Earth. Uh, to support more human beings on the earth. We can't support adequately the people that are here. They're living in shit. Billions of them are living in shit. Because we don't have enough of these resources to build them something less shitty to live in. And uh, the whole living thing is part of this whole next video I'll go into. Um, because these are sort of uh, connected to a Kobe video. Um, where he's kind of just, yeah, fuck it, uh, I'm just not going to make it in this capitalist world, and so I'll just be a failure for my life, and I'll do my thing, and I'll get by, and I'll survive, and that'll be it. And I'll be, you know, poor people are perfectly happy. It's the rich people that are miserable, so I'll be happy. Um, but I'll sound kind of complaining about it, because I really don't want to have to be poor and miserable. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't want to work either. <laughs> no, I don't want to work on what they want me to work on anyway. Uh, which, oh, okay, in sort of is sort of an agreeable sentiment. Uh, you know, there is something definitely wrong with our culture. So Amazing Atheist is basically pointing a finger at our culture and wagging his finger. God, how can you decadent assholes go for this bullshit? How do you watch this stupid shit? How do you like this stupid shit? The same questions I'm asking about the culture the Amazing Atheist is advocating. How can you fucking bastards rate his video so high? How can you fucking watch his goddamn inane, moronic bullshit? I mean, it's just so ironic. Here he is spouting about how the culture is so depraved. Um, like, he is a bastion of brilliant culture. Um, he is the culture of, yeah, we don't need laws against criminals, murderers and stuff. How does it affect? It doesn't affect me. They're not going to murder me, so it's no problem. If the guy kills his wife, how's it? Fuck me. I, I don't need it. We're wasting our money if we go ahead and capture him. Because apparently deterrence is not a concept that the amazing brainitude can get into his brain. He really doesn't understand that concept, that you have laws uh, to prevent actions because they, you, you punish people for actions, so you create a thing called deterrence. Okay, it's not because you're going to get anything from punishing them. You're really not. We, a lot of people understand that. Um, you're not going to improve the person uh, by punishing them. You're just creating a disincentive for people to commit the act, and it really does work, I think. I think, I think we know there's a a lot of people walking around that wouldn't be walking around if there wasn't effective deterrence against a certain behavior. Well, anyway, that's just one of the idiotic, moronic, inane things that he says in this video as he criticizes our inane, idiotic, superficial, and stupid culture. Um, and our, we have to put in quotes, because obviously some of us don't want to take credit for our stupid culture. But it sure as hell beats the crap out of his crappy culture. His culture of, you know, hypocrisy, lunacy, and insanity. Um, he's talking about, all again, with the individual rights. And this is a guy who's advocated as one of your individual rights is the right to strip the individuality from other people, to classify them, to judge them, to generalize about them, and to assume they are something based on something as irrelevant as their skin color. Yes, you must have the right to strip another person of their individuality. I mean... You know, and then he talks about how other people are idiots and morons. I mean, how can you get more moron? Mor There's nothing more moronic than that, except for maybe the fact that he would argue against things like population control when we are in a critical mess because of too many fucking people, too much to manage. Uh, you know, what's what's your ideal number there, amazing atheist? Uh, how much, how many resources do you think we can actually pull out of the earth to feed people and house them and keep them comfortable? I mean, have you ever heard the equator and like there's zones in the earth and there's only certain places that people can live comfortably and there's other places where there's fucking mosquitoes that'll kill you um, and there's other places where there isn't any food isn't going to grow and there's all kinds of problems in the world and they're not going to be solved by having more people. Explain to me how any of these problems are going to be solved by having more people. 
you're almost as idiotic as the morons who say, well, if we didn't have more people, we won't have the next Gandhi. Uh, you know, but they also forget that, the, you know, we won't have the next Adolf Hitler either. Uh, so, yeah, brilliant shit spouting out of your mouth. I mean, it's just amazing. And so, you, you know, just the, the rhetoric you're using is just, you know, we finally have something in common. Because I find you as abhorrent and as disgusting as you find our current culture. And I am just as amazed at how these fucktards can, you know, um, be seduced by a stupid image of a hamburger or whatever you're selling. And, you know, because you're basically a false advertising, too. What are you selling? You're not selling intelligence. You're selling a big, fat moron, a selfish fucking bastard um, who gives a shit about nothing but his own um, satisfaction and his own uh, pathway. You want to you know, clear the pathway of the clutter that's in your way so you can stomp along and do whatever the fuck it is that you want to do, whatever you think is valuable, and fuck all these other interested parties, all these other individuals that you don't have any patience for. I mean, it's just such a buffoon to be spouting this crap. I mean, you're the biggest pile of false advertising there there could possibly be. The amazing atheist. You know, you just, why don't you just say it? The amazing glutton. The amazing selfish bastard. Come on, d d describe yourself for what you really are. You're less about atheism than you are about all this other hedonistic, um, pray to me kind of bullshit. I mean, you think you're fucking God. I mean, you, you don't talk about individuality with any kind of sincerity because you think you're better than everybody else. Oh, what a, it's just so disgusting. Uh, so anyway, you know, it talks about the American dream and uh, the, yeah, greed and all that stuff has taken over that. But for a lot of people, all they want is an American dream, is a, you know, a way to make a living, a way to put a roof over their house so they can engineer a lifestyle that they like. And it's not all about Mercedeses and BMWs and all this other shit. There's a lot of people who can be satisfied with a lot less than that. And satisfaction is a tricky game. Whether you're rich or poor, it's a, it's a tricky goddamn game. Obviously, we can only get moments of it here and there. And what we're trying to stem off is major dissatisfaction, the major discomforts. Um, <clears throat> but whatever. I mean, the culture is fixable. And certainly your alternative solutions to any of these problems is just plain crap. I mean, you talk like almost in amazement that people fall for lies. And, you know, and what do you do? You sell lies. I mean, your last video, you lied in the middle. You put a fake image in the middle of it just to be funny, and there you go. I mean, so you, you play the game. Um, anyway, and so then his big rag is that he's all whiny now because apparently somebody who matters complained about him having the ads on his, his videos. Uh, it didn't matter that fake Sagan pointed it out. It didn't matter that I pointed it out. But see, I'm really irrelevant. And then Virtual Holocaust did a video. I mean, I did mine first, let's remember. Uh, you know, pointing out, uh, you know, that sort of taints the message. And uh, it didn't matter. So, but somehow, between now and the, you know, all those people, somehow now it matters. Somebody apparently has bitched at you about it enough that um, now you're feeling all imposed upon because now we're saying you you can't just take advantage of us like mcdonald's takes advantage of you <laughs> you know and uh you know whatever i mean i really don't care you can try to make all the money you freaking want i didn't even imply that meant anything it's just that you made a couple of videos in a row that seem sort of engineered and that's all i mean if it's going to fuck the content up then you have to take some responsibility for it but i couldn't who clicks on ads anyway who cares what the ads are whatever they are if you want money 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 whatever um but anyway just a fucked up video um you know and he just yelled at the top of his voice how we're fucking stupid <laughs> and, and and uh you know serving the bullshit and it's just what you, that's exactly what you're doing. You're serving bullshit to a bunch of little moronic, weak minds that say, oh, yeah, it's a big, giant fucking monster, so I'll listen to what it has to say because it's got a big mouth and it runs around and it's animated and it's funny. I mean, you're the fucking clown. And uh, you're not selling philosophy. You're not selling intelligence. You're selling complete rubbish. What's the great intellectual premise that you have put forward? What have you put on the table as the, as the, as the brilliant statement? 
uh, that, you know, mass murderers should only go to jail for 25 years? I mean, fuck. I mean, there's nothing in your, your policy that you've advocated, your corrections to our broken society, that mean anything, that make any fucking sense at all, that will fix any of these problems in any fucking way. They just make them fucking worse. And to talk uh, where people should blow their brains out, I mean, that's a solution, but I mean, I'm not going to advocate that's what you do, but you're, you're just, you're a toxic pill. You're not, you're not part of the solution, you're part of the fucking problem. So enough said. I mean, it's just, it's just so grotesque, the hypocrisy. So we'll get to the Kobe video. Um, there really wasn't that much to it, but the Amazing Atheist called him his hero and all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, whatever, we're all trapped. We all have to figure out some way to survive. And uh, I certainly understand your unwillingness to sell your soul to the man to make enough money to live. But you really don't have to climb that ladder of success all the way up. You can just climb enough steps to get what you need to build the life you want to live. And it's, it's not like it's some addiction, you know. I mean, it really isn't. Uh, you work enough.